Hello everyone, I'm Emma and today I'm proud to say that we're having an artist like not all the others. Well, obviously because artists should be different to stand out from the others by nature, but today we're having and I'm very excited to say it, Hilly Lisko. The journalist thought hard to be one and follow her passion. I've heard a lot about her, about her new book release, the children's book series, but what really caught my attention, aside from purely and simply herself, was the TV show made about her, which I believe is a documentary about her. Well, it is a documentary about her life, which can be found on Apple TV Plus. Uh, and um, I saw the official trailer of it, which I'm going to show it to you soon, uh, because it really caught my attention and uh, it made me really interested about her life, her life story, her journey to where she is now. Uh, it's definitely a movie I'm going to watch and I think, uh, I'm absolutely sure you are uh, going to think the same after watching the trailer a bit. I'm really looking forward to uh, the interview, also because this is the first time we're interviewing a writer um, and uh, I'm very excited for it because I'm also kind of starting off in this industry, if I can call it like that, I think it's an industry. Uh, uh, the thing with the writing uh, and I'm really uh, excited to hear some advice from her uh, to hear how she started off uh, and made it to the top uh, where she is now uh, beginning from such young age as nine. Uh, well I told you I am going to share with you uh, the official trailer of the movie because this is what uh, caught my attention and uh, this is what made me really really interested about her uh, life story. Um, I think this is what I'm going to start with actually uh, before we get to know uh, Hilly better but uh, first of all how are you Hilly? I'm good how are you? I'm very fine uh, I think I've said it several times but I'm really <laughs> excited. Um, I am too. I've been excited for this the whole week since uh, <laughs> the Wee Witch introduced you to me. Uh, well, actually, I think she introduced me to you. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm going to uh, share the video with you. I'm Hildy Lisko. And I'm a reporter. This is for the people who don't believe in you. My dad's a reporter, too. You're back in town? Just got in. You two know each other? It's been really nice and quiet around here. This is a warning. Where have you been all day? At the crime scene. Crime scene? When he left, your dad said he would never move back here. How come? In 88, the mayor's kid went missing. They never found out what happened to Richie. Is that? Dad? My best friend. He was taken right in front of me. I want to see the police report for Richie Fife. Can someone deal with this? I'm not going away. I can't show you everything, but here's what I got. Are you helping me? I don't like when they pat me on the head either. Young lady, you have no idea what you're getting into. I feel like being called a young lady should be a compliment. But it never sounds like it is. What did you do? I'm a journalist. No, you're a fourth grader. There's a town full of people that know more about my husband than I do. I think there's something you should know. Run into that hole. I know you cut school to interview a murder suspect. No. Well, yes, but no. Run into that hole. In our family, we work out our problems together. Run into that hole. Be smart. I'd rather be brave. Be both. Uh, we, well, this is a trailer of the first season. Uh, Home for Dark. Uh, I am definitely going to watch it, as I've said earlier, uh, because um, it seems like you. Um, uh, 
there was um, <laughs> the trailer of the second season playing in the background. Uh, I forgot to um, <laughs> stop the playlist. Um, well, as I said in the beginning, I really love how determined you were to follow your passion at only nine years old, which is a very young age. And it seemed like there was uh, a true and deep connection between you and writing that uh, made you uh, believe and really know that that was what you were going to do uh, later in life. Uh, how did you find your passion? Uh, what was the match that started the fire? So when I lived in New York, my dad was a journalist and he reported for the New York Daily News and he used to take me with him on some stories he reported on. So that's when I really realized how much I loved reporting and journalism. So when we moved to Pennsylvania, um, my dad had quit his job, so I wasn't able to go with him on stories anymore. So I realized I should just start my own newspaper. Wow, that's so interesting. And um, thank it's, you. It's it's really nice and. Um, well, well, it's very nice to know that uh, you started at such young uh, age and you were really determined and passionate about it and you really knew that that was what you were going to do in life. Uh, and I saw that, uh, well, everyone, uh, you can find her on Facebook by uh, typing Orange Street News. Um, well, she's a journalist. Uh, and I believe uh, you can find her the same um, by searching the same on Instagram. Um, yeah, my Instagram is actually just my first and last name. So H-I-L-D-E-L-Y-S-I-A-K. Oh, all right. Uh, <laughs> do you have any um, social um, network? Social media? Not really. I use Instagram. That's pretty much it. <laughs> and Twitter, I guess. But it's still the same tag as the Facebook. Uh, well, I can see uh, you're really um, into the world's problems uh, and you are really trying to find solutions to them. As I've seen uh, on Facebook and Instagram. I try my best. <laughs> um, can you tell us something about Healy on the record, which was uh, released, uh, by the way, this week? and how people yeah. can find it. Yeah, um, Hildy on the Record is the memoir that I just released on Tuesday, I believe. And it focuses on my life as a young reporter and some of the lessons I learned along the way. Wow. Uh, is it um, basically your life story as a whole? Yeah, pretty much. Um, it just focuses on from the time I was little to now pretty much. Uh, and can you tell us um, some things uh, that you can that we can find in the book? Uh, well, not spoilers, obviously. Um. Um, yeah, with the book, I tried to focus on um, how I think one of the most important lessons I learned, like being a young reporter, was how um, people's perceptions of you can really change the way that you feel about yourself if you aren't really careful and really like firm in who you are. So I try to explore that a lot in the book. Oh, wow. Uh, how is, uh, what did your road to writing your book look like? Um, how did you thought of writing it? So ever since I was little, I've had a lot of people tell me um, like who I am and write these stories about me that just weren't very accurate to who I was as a person. So I wanted to write this book to kind of share my side of the story. Wow. Well, I actually wanted to ask you, um, this was one of uh, my questions, actually. Uh, did you get support uh, along the way um, with your uh, book or writing your book? Did you get the support you needed or, well? Um, yeah. Um, my parents were actually super helpful. My mom is a really good writer. So every time I'd write something, I'd show it to her and I kind of get her opinion on it and some of her feedback. So my parents were great about that. Uh, that's very nice. It's very nice to know that you actually had support uh, along the way. Uh, and uh, I believe those people that uh, were making up stories about you uh, were actually bullies. 
a lot of the times. Well, sometimes buoys are actually uh, inspiration and, um, well, not necessarily inspiration, but a motivation to uh, do uh, what you like doing in life uh, to continue. Uh, only I agree. If you know how, only if you know how to manage uh, this type of um, behavior. Um, I completely agree. <laughs> um, what, are your, what are your future plans? Uh, do you plan on writing more books? Um, I'm not sure. Um, recently, I've been exploring a lot of my interests other than writing. I actually really like math, and I think I might want to be an engineer. But oh, really? um, I'm just taking it one day at a time. <laughs> wow, that's very interesting. Um, well, Thank I you. think this is the first time I hear a writer is actually uh, interested in math. Yeah, yeah. I'm not very good at it, but I try to be. Well, uh, the first step is always the hardest, and you're only in 10th grade, and you are going to explore more of it. Um, yeah. Tell us about the children's book series. Uh, what inspired you to write it, and how did you discover you like writing uh, for children? Uh, yeah, so those books were um, based on actual stories that I had reported on, but they were fictionalized, and I've always really liked fiction writing, so that was super fun for me, and I um, got to kind of explore more of my creative side with those books. Uh, wow. Uh, can you tell us where people can find them, and also your uh, book, Hilly on the Record? Yeah, I think you could find them um, definitely Amazon, pretty much anywhere where you would buy books normally. Uh, it's very nice to know. People know down where you can find them. Um, and this is uh, the most... Uh... Sorry, you froze for a minute. Oh, really? Hi, sorry, you froze for a minute, but you're back now. Oh, good. I was really... <laughs> I was really wondering why, because uh, my internet connection is actually a good. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I think mine's okay on this end. I don't know. Uh, it happens uh, sometimes. I don't know, maybe it's a glitch. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, well, uh, what are your uh, hidden talent? Do you have any? Hmm. That's a good question. Let me think. Um, this is a really weird one, but I'm really good at making slime. Wow. <laughs> like, I'm really good at it. This is so, like, weird, but I, I don't know why. It's like... <laughs> well, well, I remember back in... I, I'm not really sure when slimes became popular. Um, like 2016, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I was really into them Well, as I was watching uh, YouTube... Um, videos uh with them and i i really wanted one and my mom got uh me and my sister uh and yeah and my sister uh stuck one of it in her hair uh, that happened to me too oh really <laughs> one time yeah one time i was playing with slime with my um best friend Kristen, and like we were throwing it up in the air and it got stuck to the ceiling and she went to get it and it fell on her hair Wow. And how did you get it off? It took like a week and lots of conditioner. I wow. think she put olive oil in it or something. I don't know. My sister my sister had to cut uh that part of her hair off. Well Oh yeah. gosh. Yeah. And after that we were not allowed to play with uh slimes anymore. But we, it was it was kind of a good choice, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well after that slimes didn't um, yeah, uh, got a lot less lost popular. Your interest in uh, them. Uh, what are your uh, other passions? Do you also like uh, doing other things uh, aside from uh, writing? Actually, I really like acting and I really like theater, and I'm also I also love filmmaking. Wow, uh, do you, have you played in any? Um, theater plays or maybe uh, movies? Um, nothing really significant, but I've done a lot of theater, like community theater and all that stuff. That's really fun to me. Wow. 
uh, that's very interesting, and uh, it's really nice to know that you also uh, do that. Uh, maybe someday we'll see you uh, in a big movie or uh, on. Oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> or on the big stages. Um, where do you see yourself in five years from now? Hmm. That's a good question. I think I am tr I'm trying to explore a lot of my other interests other than journalism. I think I'd want to get a lot in the um, filmmaking. I think that'd be something fun, something I'd really like to do. But, you know, I'm taking it day by day. I don't really know where the future is going to take me. Wow. Wow. Well, you seem to be very interested in uh, this part with the acting and uh, theater. I am. Um, do you have a favorite movie? Oh, that's such a good question. I have a lot of favorite movies. I think my old time favorite movie is either the Titanic or there's this other movie called Daisies. I think it was released in 1966. That's also really good, but I have a lot. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, the Titanic is a very good one. It, it's pretty, um, it's, it's pretty emotional. Really sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can tell you really like this type of um, movies. Also, uh, this, I think it's a genre. Um, mm -hmm. Also, because you're a writer, and uh, as a writer, you need to be. Um, well, this is my perception of writing. You need to be uh, a bit connected with the uh, world inside you, uh, and with your I emotions agree. and. Uh, what you really feel because otherwise I don't think you can actually transmit something through your writing um, but I'm pretty sure you do uh, because uh, again I was really impressed how determined you were to become a journalist at only nine um, thank you some people find really hard their passions and it's uh, very impressive that you did it uh, when you were that young. This is what really um, impresses me. Um, I mean, thank you. I mean, you too, you're what, you're in ninth grade, right? And you already almost. are pretty much a writer. That's really cool. Uh, well, I started a story on a Wattpad and um, um, I want to continue it, uh, but um, I think what what I really started with was writing articles. That's um, fun. I think the first one was about my sister and this one really uh, made me believe that writing might be a thing for me. Um, yeah. But this interview is not about me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you seem to be a very deep person. Uh, do, you like, you. do you like psychology or... Um, uh, do you study psychology in 10th grade? Um, no, I have, but I kind of want to because there's a psychology class that I could take next year. And I think that'd be a really fun class to take, but I'm not taking it right now. Oh, uh, but I also think psychology books are really good. What do you think about them? I do too. I haven't like explored a lot of psychology books. Do you have any recommendations? Because I think I'd be really interested in that. Well, uh, I'm Romanian and most of the books I read in, um, um, most psychology yeah. books I read were in Romanian, but the one I think, uh, uh, my favorite one so far, I think it is, um, uh, everything happens for a reason and other lies I've heard before, but I'm not really sure who the author is. Well, I'm going to search it now. I can, I can um, look it up. Here, I'll put it in my notes app. I have a notes app of all the books I want to read. So hang on, let me just <laughs> let me put it in here. That's a very good uh, thing to do. It's really um, cool. eye-opening. That book is really eye-opening. and it, It's very interesting. You are going to see. I'd love to read it. Um, I'm happy to hear that. Um, uh, the question I've been really interested uh, to hear the answer to and the one that I've been waiting to get the answer to uh, about the whole week uh, is what would be your advice for uh, the aspiring writers? I'd say um, my main piece of advice is to be very persistent. It's, um, it's, you know, it's a difficult, it's a difficult job. And usually you're going to get rejected a lot more than you get like accepted into things. And then also, if you take yourself seriously, other people will take you seriously too, which is something that's helped me a lot um, being young and everything. Wow, 
that's a very that's a very good piece of advice. Uh, I'm really going to uh, note that. Um, I think being persistent is one of the most uh, important things uh, in all the uh, things you uh, want to do or want to become. Uh, because once you start a thing, you can uh, and you like doing it. You should never stop. You should stop. You should continue uh, doing it until you succeed. Uh, and this is how actually uh, successful people uh, become successful. I think. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, it was really nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too. This was so fun. Well, uh, well, yeah, it was really fun uh, to me too. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, reading your book because um, I told you your life story may be really interesting about um, reading more about it and hearing more about it uh, and since your uh, book is kind of uh, your life story on paper I'm definitely very uh, interested uh, to buy it and uh, to read it uh, also, um, the movie on Apple TV Plus seems uh, to be very interesting, and I told you I'm going to watch it. Uh, well, again, it can be found on Apple TV Plus for um, those who want to watch it. Uh, and her books can be found on uh, Amazon uh, or pretty much everywhere, as you can say, as you said. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing you maybe. Uh, one more time or maybe a few uh, maybe a lot more times on the mob uh radio uh again she is new to this family and she's very uh warm welcomed here um i would love that <laughs> i'm glad to hear that um well um uh, uh, i wish you success in everything that you will thank do you and everything you would like to do in life and also to finding your passions and to what you'd like to do more uh, besides from writing uh, because uh, you said you want to explore more of uh, what you can do and what you want to do uh, thank you so much and if you have, ever have questions for me or anything even like personal ones i'd be happy to answer so feel free to reach out whenever wow this is so nice of you <laughs> Well, the uh, the ones with the writing, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a lot because I'm just starting off, as I said. Mm -hmm. uh, and well, I'd be happy to answer. <laughs> um, thank you for that, and thank you for this interview. Uh, see you, um, I don't know, um, <laughs> in the future. Hopefully soon. I'm really hoping, uh, so... <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. And you too. You a lot of success.